Is there a parallel in your experience to what's going on right now? I don't recall anything quite like this, where you have uh, a major power invading a neighbor unprovoked. We have not seen that uh, since the Second World War. We're trying not to escalate the conflict, and yet we have Zelensky saying, we need no fly zones, we need a lot more than what the West is doing right now. With Vladimir Putin, I think we have to recognize that he will only act in a more reasonable way when he fears NATO as much as people in NATO fear him. In my view, we really do need to provide the MiG jets that Poland is willing to provide to the fighters in Ukraine. So you disagree with the administration position on the planes? The president's hesitancy to move on sending those jets is, in my opinion, a real mistake. We're already providing stingers and javelins. These are missiles that take down aircraft and tanks. Republicans and Democrats are speaking out very loud and clearly. Get those MiGs to the Ukrainians. I think he's going to recognize that that's something he's got to do. You just talk more about no-fly zone and your position on that and where you think we ought to be. I really don't like the idea of two great powers firing on each other. That has not happened since the Second World War. Were there to be a humanitarian zone to allow people to leave Ukraine, that would be something I would want to see negotiated with Russia uh, to make sure that there was not going to be a, a conflict that emerged between NATO and Russia. Uh, this is a pretty dark chapter for America and the world. Do you see a light in the tunnel? You know, I, I, I don't know that I can get hope in my uh, eyes right now when I'm seeing a bomb today in a maternity hospital. My eyes are so full of tears. But ultimately, I'm an optimist. I have confidence in the power of freedom. And I think I've come away with a much greater respect for the power of leaders. Zelensky has become almost Churchillian in his capacity to galvanize his own people, but also to bring the world together and say, what is being done to the people of Ukraine is wrong.